Hello everyone, today we are going to recap one of mystery thriller movies, After the Dark. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. The film begins with James who oversleeps and barely manages to make it to class at an international school in Jakarta. Despite his tardiness, Mr. Zimit, a philosophy teacher, reluctantly grants him entry. James' girlfriend Petra, the top student in her class, gives him a disapproving look. Since it's their last day, Mr. Zimit challenges his class of 20 with thought exercises to prepare them for the future. They discuss scenarios like a monkey typing out Hamlet and ethical dilemmas, such as the trolley problem and the obese man problem. Mr. Zimit introduces an exercise assuming an imminent atomic apocalypse, presenting a bunker with supplies for only 10 people to survive for a year. Despite the available comforts, the students must quickly decide who to admit before atomic radiation reaches them. The usually diligent Petra initially refuses to participate in this challenging decision-making process. Zima takes a drastic measure, threatening to lower Petra's boyfriend James' academic grade if she refuses to participate. Reluctantly, Petra decides to stay. Zima then distributes cards detailing the characters of each student in the hypothetical scenario. An odd occurrence happens when, after handing Petra and James their cards, Zimit starts coughing. As everyone introduces their characters, including the organic farmer, engineer, real estate agent, carpenter, opera singer, and various other professions, Zimit unexpectedly shoots the published poet, justifying it as a more humane act than letting them succumb to radiation. Zimit, concealed as part of the exercise with undisclosed abilities, triggers a heated debate as the students defend their right to enter the limited capacity bunker. Following a group vote, the final decision narrows down to Zimit and the opera singer, with Zimit securing the spot. In the hypothetical scenario, they spend five minutes bidding farewell, rearranging the classroom to signify survivors and the abandoned. Gunshots outside reveal Zimit's ruthless act and eliminating those left behind. Shocked, Petra confides in James that she doesn't want him in the bunker. James Resourceful devises a plan where, before entering the bunker, everyone gathers plants. While they are preoccupied, he discreetly informs each person that they will meet inside. Zimit eventually catches on, leading to the bunker being sealed with Zimit left outside. Inside, the survivors examine the resources for the upcoming year, including an artificial garden and a daybed to alleviate depression. Later, James reassures Petra that they can overcome anything together. As James falls asleep, Petra investigates Zimit's claim outside, where he holds up a paper stating he alone possesses the exit code, leaving the group uncertain about the truth of his declaration. The group endures a challenging year in the bunker, grappling with mundane tasks and facing unsatisfying and agonizing lives. Petra, still checking on Zimit's lifeless body, wears a dejected expression. The group contemplates whether the end of their first ordeal will mark the beginning of the next. Upon surviving the year, they realize the exit code is essential, leading to futile attempts to break out, depletion of supplies, and ultimately, the group's decision to end their lives. The thought exercise intended to be insightful proves futile. Zimit's card reveals he is the bunker builder with the exclusive knowledge of the code. The group decides to retry the exercise, maintaining the bunker and apocalypse scenario. In a surprising twist, Zimit seizes a gun during the distraction. A second details on the cards alter the vote, accepting James, an organic farmer who is homosexual, while rejecting the surgeon due to potential Ebola contraction. Zimit faces criticism for his flawed logic. As the group plans for procreation, pairings are reconsidered. Explosions continue outside, and Zimit suggests changing couples. Tensions rise, and Zimit resorts to threats. A scuffle ensues, resulting in Zimit opening the bunker doors and causing widespread death. James questions Zimit's motives, uncovering tampered cards and prompting suspicions about Zimit's vendetta. Zimit references Plato's cave allegory, claiming the exercise aims to confront James about his privilege. Disbelieving, James questions the choice of making him a farmer. Petra insists on a third exercise with James as a florist. On an island in their third exercise, Zimit goes for a check, concealing a gun. Petra joins him outside, offering support. Petra gains the group's trust to decide bunker entries, choosing based on diverse skills and characteristics. Petra's choices vary from a wine auctioneer with a high IQ to a fashion designer promoting confidence and a champion poker-playing poet. The harpist with autism, surgeon exposed to Ebola, and opera singer with potential future mutinous also make the cut. A distraught chemist who is homosexual is taken in, along with a pastry chef coming out. Petra chooses James, but Zimit objects, threatening her with a failing grade. During the confrontation, Petra disarms Zimit and returns the gun. Zimit tries to shoot, but the gun is unloaded. 
James exposes Zimmet's attempt to conceal guns with a card up his sleeve. Zimmet, asserting exclusive knowledge of the exit code, is contradicted by the soldier with a flawless memory, who remembers it from the previous iteration. Petra extends the final slot to the soldier, who declines and the sterile carpenter takes the spot. In a final gesture, James persuades Petra to leave for safety, and the carpenter sacrifices his place for her, sealing the bunker door. Amid circumstances that should have bred misery, an unexpected camaraderie blossoms among the survivors. Cards, fine wine, Shakespearean performances, and original poems contribute to moments of joy. James openly declares his love for Petra, though she hesitates to reciprocate. Petra, showcasing creativity, crafts a harp for the harpist and enjoys magical evenings with the opera singer in the creatively filled bunker. Upon leaving the bunker, the group is astonished to find that the anticipated bombs never fell. Zimmet predicts their demise due to a lack of technical skills for island survival, but Petra counters by affirming their determination to live well and embrace death when it arrives acknowledging the unpredictability of life. However, their plans are disrupted when Zimmet reveals he found a cave to avoid radiation. He prevents James from detonating a rocket, deeming it an unreasonable act to end humanity. Threatening James with his last bullet, Zimmet is challenged by the other survivors, leading to the pressing of the detonation button. The film returns to the classroom where Zimmet reflects on the exercise with shame. A flashback to the carpenter's unique thought experiment reveals a humorous scenario of one man with six women. The fate of three other males is amusingly explained, highlighting the carpenter's perspective on the importance of living life to the fullest. The chemist praises the carpenter's creativity. After the session, everyone departs except Petra. She confronts Zimmet, accusing him of using the exercise to punish James. The revelation of Zimmet's affair with Petra and his belief that James is beneath her comes to light. Petra argues that intelligence isn't the sole criterion for love, professing her love for James. She gives Zimmet a final kiss and leaves. The film concludes with Zimmet alone in the school, immersed in thought exercises as he contemplates his actions and the possibility of ending it all. The movie concludes at this point. If you enjoyed this content, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Feel free to give us a thumbs up to support our channel and share your thoughts on the video in the comments section below.